It's a pleasure having you again, my friends, here on Will Edutech. In the previous exercise, we looked at finding the inverse of the matrix Q is equal to 4, 2, 1, 1. And that was that value at two marks. And before we found the inverse, first we had to find the, the uh, determinant of Q here, which is 2. And then we found the adjoint of Q, 1, negative 2, negative 1, 4. And then simply to find the inverse now of Q, what we did, we placed 1 over the determinant and then multiply that by the adjoint. So hence, the, the inverse of Q is equal to 1 upon 2, which is a half, times the adjoint, okay, which is 1, negative 2, negative 1, 4. Now, if you're not sure about that, of that answer, you could always watch the video in the playlist before the one that you're presently watching now. Okay, now in this exercise, in part two, they're asking us to use a matrix method to find values of X and Y in the equation below. Now, this is a typical matrices equation. Now, I will shortly be putting up a playlist on matrices where I'll teach you the basic concepts when working with matrices, when working with matrices, all right? This values are three marks. Quickly, let's just get into it. But before I move, let me just explain the basic concept what, of what is happening. Happening. When we're working with a matrix equation or matrices equation rather, basically what you're doing to solve, you're multiplying both sides of your equation by the inverse of the matrix. And I'm speaking about this matrix at the front. Now, if you notice, this is a matrix for 2, 1, 1. And if you should make a quick connection, you would have realized that this is the matrix Q. If you notice in part 1, they gave us this matrix as 4, 2, 1, 1. Okay? And they had asked us to find the inverse of that matrix. So basically, we're just going to be using the inverse of the matrix Q to multiply both sides of the equation. So in essence, my friends, what you're really doing is, is this, and let me just make a note of it. You're putting, remember, this is very important, you're, you're putting the inverse at the front, okay? So when multiplying matrices, remember matrices, multiplication of matrices, um, that, that's, they are not commutative, meaning that the order, it does matter when you're multiplying because it, it's not commutative, all right? Now, what I'll do, put the inverse first, and then I'll put the matrix Q, which we have already established to be 4, 2, 1, 1. So you're going to use the inverse of the matrix to multiply the matrix, and then you will have your variable following. So we'll have our x, y, okay? That's our variable, and that should be equal to. And what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do it to the other. So I'm going to have to multiply this side of my equation by the inverse of Q, okay, Q inverse, and then I'm going to use that to multiply my 8, 3 that I have there, okay? So that's basically what, you're, what you'll be doing, what you'll be required to do. Let's just pull this up a bit so we can have a little bit more space to work with, okay? I think that should be good enough. Okay, before I pull it up that far, let's just use the matrix and substitute our values. Now, in this, the, the inverse of Q, my friends, we have it to be a half times 1 minus 2 minus 1, 4. So I'll have a half here, a half, open bracket, and my inverse is 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 1, 4. That's our inverse, okay? And that's really, we're really using the inverse to multiply the matrix Q, which is 4, 2, 1, 1, okay? And then if you notice, I have the variable beside that, so I'm going to have to place my variable x, y right there. And let's just close that, and that should be equal to... What I do to one side, I must do to the other side. So if you notice, my inverse is at the front here. So I'm going to put my inverse there, which is a half open bracket. Okay, and I have my 1, negative 2, negative 1, 4. Okay, close shop. And I'm multiplying it by my value across there, which is 8, 3. Okay, so I have an 8, 3 there. Now, when multiplying, to what I'll be doing here, let me just pull this up a bit now since we have substituted the values. Now my friends, what I'll be doing here basically, I'm going to be leaving my half 
for the last, okay? And just simply multiply my 2 by 2 matrix. If you're not sure about multiplying 2 by 2 matrix in the video before this, I had I had previously completed an exercise on that where I teach a basic concept of how to multiply rows by columns, okay? So that's what you're simply doing. You're multiplying your rows by your columns. So if you're not sure, you're, you can always watch that video if I'm moving a little bit too fast for you on this video, okay? I'm just going to be working it out straight now. So basically here, my friends, what I'm going to have, I'm just going to simply take down my half. So I am taking down a half there and I'm opening up my bracket. Okay. Now what I'm doing, I'm using this row. Sorry. I'm using the row here, this row to multiply this column. Okay. That's, that's the process. That's the whole idea behind it. So I'm going to say one times four, that will give me a positive four. Then I'm going to say negative two times one, that will give me a minus two. Okay. So that's basically it for that. Then I'm going to say one now I've, I'm completed multiplying this row. So I'm going to use this row now to multiply this column over here. Okay. So I'm saying now one times two, that will give me a positive two. And then I'm saying negative two times my one here that will give me a negative two. And then I'm simply saying I've completed now to multi I'm completed the process of multiplying this row by the by these two columns. So I'm just going to repeat the step for the row at the bottom. So I'm saying negative one times four that will give me a negative four. And I'm saying four times one will give me a positive four. So plus four. Okay, then I'm saying here, my friends, negative one times a positive two will give me a negative two. And I have a four times a one here in this position will give me a positive four. Okay, now I'm simply going to close my bracket there. And then here now I have my my variables. So I'm just going to bring down my variables there. X, Y, close bracket. Okay. And that is equal to, I'm, I'm not ready to use my half. So I'm just going to take down my half, my friend. So here I have a half. I'm just simply taking that down and I am just going to multiply my two by two matrix by my two by one matrix. And I simply mean two by one, meaning you have two rows and one column. Okay. So I'm saying here now one times this eight will give me an eight Okay, and then I'm saying negative two times three, that will give me a negative six. And then I'm saying negative one times eight will give me a negative eight. And I'm simply saying four times three will give me a positive 12. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing. Now it's it's pretty it's pretty much fun from here in what I'll be doing I'm just leaving my half and I'm going to simplify my matrix that I have here. So for this part, I'm just going to simply say bring down my half so let's take that down there and I'm going to simplify my matrix by saying 4 minus 2 will leave me with a 2 and I'm going to say 2 minus 2 will leave me with a 0 and I'm going to say 4 minus 4 will leave me with a 0 and I have a negative 2 plus 4 and this is the same as saying 4 minus 2 will leave me with a 2 okay so there I have my matrix and now I have a x times y is multiplying that there so I'm just going to place my x y there okay and all of that is equal to I'm just going to take down my half let's just take that down quickly and I have an open bracket and I have an 8 minus 6 that obviously will be leaving us with a 2 and negative 8 plus 12 you can simply say 12 minus 8 it's the same thing and that will leave us with a 4 okay so I'm just going to close shop. We're running out a little bit of space here. So let's just split the screen. Now, my friends, what we'll be doing, I'll do, I'm just going to be taking up this result up top because we're, we're running out a little bit of space there. So let me bring it that up. I have a half open bracket and multiplying at two zero zero two. Okay, close bracket, and I have my x, y values, my x, y variables rather. Okay, so I have my x, y, and that is equal to a half, and that's multiplying two, two up top, four below. Okay, now, simply my friends, we have to begin at the front here, we have a half multiplying the matrix two, zero, zero, two. Now, this is a, this is what you call a scalar. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to use my half to multiply each element inside a bracket. So a half, I'm basically saying a half times two, and this is a half. So you know a half times two, that 
replace this over 1. So 2 will cancel out itself. So we're, we're really left with 1. A half times 2 is equal to 1. So that's what we're saying. Each element. So here now I would have... This would give me a half times 2, that would give me a 1. A half times 0, that will give me a 0. A half times this 0 will give me another 0. And a half times 2 will give me 1, okay? And I'm multiplying that by x, y, okay? My variables. Now, this would be equal to a half times 2. That would give me a 1, okay? And a half, a half of 4 is 2, all right? So, basically, what we have left here, my friends, we have the matrix 1, 1, and 2 here on my right-hand side. Now, if you notice, uh, the, the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 is called the identity matrix. Now, what this is saying, um, the identity matrix is multiplying x, y. Now, the identity simply means that, for example, 1 is the identity element of multiplication. So 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Okay? 3 times 1 is equal to 3. So what I'm saying, any value, any number that is multiplied by 1 will result, will be the same. Okay? The result will be the same. Now, if you notice, since the identity is multiplying the xy, basically what we have left here is xy because this is basically saying 1 times xy and 1 times xy is xy. So here I would have my matrix xy is equal to the matrix 1 upon 2. Sorry, my bad. Let's just make a correction. Matrix 1, 2. Okay, so let's close the bracket there. So now simply we have found our x and y value. x is 1, y is equal to 2. So therefore, we'll have to take that out. Okay, so you'll have to say now, therefore, my x value is equal to 1 and y value is equal to 2 okay and that's basically it this is our answers these are our answers rather okay and it's pretty that easy feel free to leave a comment if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye